I go to church every Saturday. Why you always lying? Well, I, you know, I try to go to church every Saturday. my channel thank you guys so much for joining me today you could be doing anything else but you chose to spend your day with me so i really appreciate that if you haven't already done so please take a look around my channel if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe make sure you like this video and also follow me on instagram at adana the pa so this video is going to be about keeping your faith in pa school or can you keep your faith in pa school and the answer is yes you absolutely can but you have to make time for it right as with anything that's why i'm wearing like my like school girl um <laughs> collar shirt <laughs> for you guys but honestly uh no really you can absolutely keep your faith um and i honestly think that it's important to keep your faith and stay grounded in that um because it is part of the, the things that like help get you through pa school so i mean many of you know that i am very much like you know religious and spiritual i you know give you tidbits of that in my everyday like videos but i am a seven day Adventist and i go to church on on Saturdays and I observe the Sabbath which is from sunset Friday night to sunset Saturday night and so in that what that means is that you don't do anything like work related so for me I also take that to me like I don't study or do anything like PA school related on the Sabbath unless it's something like glorifying to God or like you know important you know that I feel like God would be pleased with or oh okay with and that's something that i'm still like working on and you know, i've been this i've been an sda since i've been born but you just understanding your understanding of the sabbath is something that i still kind of have a struggle with here and there but for me i do believe that you know it's a matter of you know where you are at with your faith and your relationship with god and that he's going to honor you and where you're at with that so with respect to actually keeping your faith, I do have devotion like every morning. I have devotion by myself every morning. And then in the evening, we have devotion as a family with the little ones, with the kiddos. God showed Adam the animals and Adam named them. But Adam was lonely, so God made a woman named Eve. Who made Eve? God. Oh, okay. I am Eve. Mimi, stop. And then my husband and I have devotion with each other um, as a couple because I think it's important to have all of those relationships cultivated. So in the morning when I'm having devotion, um, be it from like my little fish devotional on my phone or the Bible itself, it's important I think because I have to maintain that relationship that I have with God, right? Because you you have to have that that connection first and foremost. And then with the family, with the kids, just trying to train them up in the way that they should go um, I think it's important to do that but also with my husband and I making sure that our relationship is right and our foundation is right so I think it's important that you have that good solid foundation because if anything were to happen um, if the, the actual structure whatever that may be were to break or like you know crumble down the foundation is still solid so you can still rebuild on that foundation and i think that that foundation is god so that's why i feel like it's really important to hold on to your faith stick with it you know because it's going to bring you through the hard times because pay school is hard you know it's not going to be easy and it's not hard just alone in terms of the material that you're going to get but just emotionally it's just draining you guys you know so like not everybody's going to be your friend and that's okay you know like you're gonna have like these little struggles here and there there's gonna be things and issues and emotional stuff happening that you're like man like why am i dealing with this but as long as you have that foundation to fall back on you will be okay i go to church every saturday why you always lying well i you know i try to go to church every saturday um Sometimes I do like a little bit of bedside Baptist, I guess you could say, which is sleeping in um, on, on you know, Sabbath. But uh, I will still like watch church online because there, uh, there are some churches that stream their services live, um, which is cool. And that's an aspect of it in terms of just having that word. But it's important to actually go and commune with people that, you know, like think like you, that have the same like religion 
vision as you or the same like basis in terms of like what they want and where they're going in life. And so um, I feel like that community is really important. And so that's why I go to church on Saturday. So with respect to like school, you all know that I will do school. I'll study from Sunday to Friday. And then once the sun sets on Friday, I do not study. I am you know, kind of winding down, we'll watch like a Sabbath movie, which is just a Christian movie. Or, you know, like my husband and I might go live and talk about like a subject that is like Christ, like Christ related. Um, and then, you know, we'll go to sleep and we'll wake up, we'll go to church on Sabbath. Some churches do have an AY where it's like an afternoon service for um, the youth and young adults. And, you know, there you're able to just kind of like have um, like Sabbath games and just kind of fellowship and have fun. Um, typically there might be like a potluck happening on Sabbath afternoon. Uh, so you go to the potluck and that's another form of, you know, just fellowship and communing with each other. And then when the sun sets on Sabbath, that's when I will either like study again some more. Um, that was more so didactic year. Uh, in clinical year, we're just kind of like having a little bit more fun, you know, with spending time with the family. And then, you know, um, Sunday you might get back to studying. But that is really how I keep my faith. Like I ensure that I'm always like communing with God. And so even though I'm having these devotions like three times a day, I'm also, you know, like just praying to God about different things. Like, man, God, I have this patho test coming up and like I'm struggling. Help me understand this material. Um, and just keeping that open line of communication, I think is really important. So uh, I feel like you guys can start if you're struggling with the whole like am I gonna like be able to go to church and keep my faith and and you know have that relationship with God yes yes you are but you're gonna have to be intentional about it because it will be very easy for you all to just be like oh man I have to study so like I will read the bible a little bit later and it's like well why is God the person that is being put to the side why is God the person that is being put to the side right you know instead of doing that like it's important that you put him first and foremost and he will bring those things like to fruition for you he will bring those things um to where they need to be and place them exactly where they need to be in your life in terms of like your studying and your grades and all of that so trust me you guys like when there is something for you like when god has a plan for you it will be like completely laid out it would be written on the wall like Daniel and who was it Darius whoever that was like I don't remember which uh, king it was but <laughs> wrote that writing on the wall and it will be easily understood so you have nothing to fear. But the answer is yes, you can still have your faith, you can still go to church, and you know, you can still love God and be in PA school or grad school. You just have to be intentional about it. And I think it's important for you all to do so. Um, if you have any other questions for me, just with respect to like faith and you know, school and, and just maintaining that sanity, leave it in the comment section below. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.